Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane of the Yambors channel. And today we're going to be discussing something that all fathers really need to hear. All fathers that really want to be there in their child's life or their children's life. And the topic that we're going to talk about today is what does your child see when they look at you? It's a deep question. And something that should always be in the back of our minds as we are progressing as fathers, as we're progressing as just individuals going throughout life. When you always have this in the back of your mind, when you're always thinking about how is my child perceiving me? How is my child looking at me? What's their perspective of me? When you live with that type of responsibility within you, that naturally is going to make you want to be a better person, make you want to be a better man, make you want to be a better husband, a better father. So when you constantly have that as a reminder, as a, as a constant thought, how is my child perceiving me? What does my child look like? Or what does my child see when they look at me? that naturally is gonna make you wanna be better. My son is just months old. And it, you know, obviously, I mean, at this age of my son's uh, development, he doesn't know right from wrong, left from right. <laughs> he doesn't know any of that. But having that mindset now of making sure that my child, that my son always views me in a positive light that like, when they see me, they smile. I always want that perception from my son's eyes. And although he's just months old now, when he's one years old, when he's two years old, when he gets older and he gets more cognizant of his surroundings and, and around what's going on in his daily life, I want his daily life and his daily actions with his father to be positive, but not only positive, I want them to be influential. I want him to be able to look at dad and be like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that's my dad. I'm, I'm, I'm proud that that's my dad. Like when he walks through the door, I get excited, I get happy. Like that's what, the type of life that I wanna live for myself so that I can give that to my son. Me personally, I did not have that growing up. So I wanna be able to change the story. I wanna be able to change the dynamic of what the family name has been and, and how my upbringing was and say, you know, we're changing things up, man. We're doing things the right way. And that starts with me. It starts with the gen. It starts with my wife. It starts with us as parents. So what does your child see when they look at you? As a father, this is something that you should always be cognizant of and always something that should be in the back of your mind. And Let's be real. I mean, like, we're not perfect. Like, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to sometimes maybe get angry. We, me and my wife, we might have an argument or something. You know, not nothing nothing crazy. We don't ever, like, argue and, and get irate or anything. But do we have disagreements? Of 100%. And that's probably, well, not probably. That's going to happen. I mean, it's just natural. But making sure that we are always trying to be the best example for our son and me personally leading in that, that category of making sure that as the man and, and as the husband and as the father in this household, that we are leading a positive, happy, fulfilling life day in and day out. And obviously not every day is going to be rainbows and sun, sunshine. Not every day is going to be a great day. You know, there's going to be days where there's going to be bad days. But also when there are bad days or when there are stressful moments, how are you handling those stressful moments? Are you acting out of character? Are you getting to a place where maybe your son sees is like, ooh, dad looks a little scary right now. Like, I'm a little like these are the things that you always have to be cognizant of when you are raising a child. And obviously this is something that. I'm very new to, but me starting out in this mindset 
will carry over from him being just months old to him being one years old and two years old and five years old, 10 years old and, and so on and so forth. And the reason why I'm making this is because this is heavy on my mind right now. This is something that as he's getting older, I have to lead by example in this household, in my marriage, in my parenting. And I'm bringing this to you guys because it's important. How is your son, how is your daughter looking at you? How do they perceive you? When you walk through the door, are they lighten up? Are they excited to see you? Are they happy? They're like, oh, daddy's home. You know, that matters, you know? Obviously, your presence matters. But more than presence is a positive, influential role model that I aspire to be for my son. And this is something that you should aspire for as well. So what does your son, what does your daughter see when they look at you? I know for me personally, when my son looks at me and he sees me, he he glows up. He glows up. He he has a big smile on his face and I see his 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 eyes get wide and he has that little baby laugh. I mean, it's all just so adorable right now, but you know, I want that to continue. I want that to continue. And obviously as he gets older and he gets to like teenage years, so that's probably going to change 100%. But the overall perception of his father, I want to be in good graces. I want to be that influential person that he can come to at any point and say, you know what, I, I'm, ex- I'm excited, I'm happy that this is my dad, and I know that I can go to him and I can rely on him, and he's always going to have my back. And he treats my mom, he treats his wife so well. Like, these things matter. How you act in certain situations matter. Because kids are sponges, man. They're sponges. So everything that you do on a daily basis and how you care for them and how you cater to them and how you show compassion for their feelings, all of that matters. So what does your son, what does your daughter see when they look at you? So if you like this content and you like the little tidbits that I give here and there about fatherhood, about parenthood, about building better, healthy relationships. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below. We respond to all comments, so leave a comment down below. We will definitely get to it. And last but not least, find joy in the journey.